Also, I like to add, if the hole goes all the way through, it's fairly easy to clean the hole out because all the stuff, gravity pulls it out at the bottom. And you can see it kind of goes down in the bottom of the thing, which is something we got to clean. But in some cases, the hole doesn't bot it bottoms out and you get a lot of stuff down in there, that's got to come out. So what I like to do, I take myself an ink pen, available at most specialty tool stores, or you can just grab one at the dollar store. I cut the end of it off and took the pen out. You can blow through this, through this little hole at the end here, and it gets a little pressure. So you can kind of put that right there and blow it out, and that's that hole's going to come real nice and clean. You should close your eyes when you do that, because that stuff kind of goes everywhere when you do it. I don't know if there's another flight to see down in the bottom of that, but... Blow, don't suck that stuff out of there. You're going to regret that if you do it. Don't do that. Cleanliness to an engine is everything. If you're going to do this, especially on a cylinder head when you're going to run into this oil stuff, if you leave a speck in there, you're going to have problems. So it's extremely important to be very clean and get all the stuff out. And this is going to go through a rigorous cleaning process. And uh, hopefully it won't tear up my new bearings. As long as I clean it up good enough, I'm not too concerned. And that hole is pretty clean now. I can't quite tell, but I, I can look at it with the daylight and I can see it's clean. So I'm happy with that one. Oh yeah, look at all that mess. I went ahead and did all the bottom ones because, uh, why not? I hope, uh, hope this helps somebody.